Hi friends, welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars uh, reviewed just for you and right now you can see this is a beautiful, 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 absolute, absolutely incredible um, piece of wood, uh, I would say, and piece of art, look at that, the beautiful blonde and this is none other than a uh, Goodall Parlor, another Goodall Parlor from uh, James Goodall, James and look good all and uh, in front, front back uh, California I find that the the good old parlors are the no one sells them actually no one sells uh, try to sell them even if they are put up for sale used in the market uh, they, they they go out very fast because one thing you notice um, the good old guitars have the very lush uh, rich sounding trebles with the lovely deep lows uh, the Parlors are also louder than most dreadnoughts, so you get a very small little guitar that you can play next to your bedside while your wife is watching the television, as well as as having that volume and that responsiveness where you don't need to apply a lot of the right hand technique to get the the volume out. So let's get started. This is basically a good old parlor. They call it uh, Pacific or Cedar top with the uh, really a. Uh, Presentation grade, I call that. You look at that that uh, maple, maple on the back and sides. Of course, people said the maple have very dampening um, effect on tone. It's not dampening. It's it's just that the, the 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 notes decay faster than normal, but it gives you that fundamental note. So when you're playing live and especially in the live setting, I find that the the maple guitars sound the best. Uh, it's clear. It's sweet. If you get a nice top that is is paired up with. And it cuts through the band, makes perfectly, perfect. You don't have any problems in terms of uh, what I would say is the uh, feedback problems, especially with the pickup issues. So this one comes with the uh, cedar top, the master grade cedar, western cedar top. Uh, this one has the ebony bridge, ebony fretboard, and also uh, diamond markers on here, and a diamond fretboard markers. The whole guitar is bound with uh, high grade, I will say very aesthetic uh, core binding on the body. Just have a look at this. If you can see, look at that matching uh, core binding. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And even the head plate is maple with core binding on the head plate with uh, even the fretboard markers. And the guitar is has a maple neck, a solid maple neck. The neck slightly thicker, one three quarter neck with the it's twenty five inches uh, scale neck. This guitar is strung with the elixirs and the bone nut, bone saddle. There's no pickup. One thing to note: that's another upgrade that's not found on the normal parlor. This one has the pink ivory. Um, Ivory Abalone on the top of thing, really beautiful. This one's like a girl with uh, more diamonds on, on the earrings and, and, and also pink ivory rosettes. So you have really, not your normal standard Abalone, but this one is really sparkle really when you see it, it is beautiful. And if you, if you, if you, I just sit down here and play, it's beautiful. <laughs> So you have a very responsive uh, top, a forward shift, they don't scale up the bracing to, to give you a little bit more stability, you don't see any uh, swelling on the top compared to many of the small uh, luthier guitars where they, I feel that sometimes they scale up too much, even uh, they, some, some of the luthiers have conversation where they say, well, you know, we stiffen the top and things like that. Well, in, in a, a country like Singapore where humidity runs between uh, 50 to up to 90%, and average is about 70 you will foresee some problems with a lot of this uh, single luthiers that scallop too, too, too much of the top raises. This one doesn't have a scallop, uh, but I think they thin down the, the parameters of the top. It gives you a little bit more responsiveness. Um, one thing to note about this, uh, it has a rosewood uh, bridge plate, but the, the, rather than having a bridge plate that is this size, the bridge plate is exceptionally uh, large. It covers a wider surface area, but from my uh, thinking, my once I analyze it is to to stiffen this area. So when the energy will translate a little bit more that meatiness across the the whole top and gives you that lush uh, 
uh, sweet but clear trebles that is found on that is is characteristics of the good old guitars. So you know they're talking. I got to play a little bit of strumming, uh, not too much. Uh, <laughs> that top you can still strum it hard Alright, you come closer and we're gonna play the guitar a little bit. Just have you have a look at the back again. Beautiful back, beautiful back. Beautiful back. Oh man, man, man,
There you go, there you go, the good old guitars. This is a good old parlor with the maple back and sides, as you can see it. Beautiful back and side, lots of flame, beautiful blonde. I personally love uh, blonde uh, uh, maples because I find they, they work very well in life. You find a maple guitar, you play it, get it done correctly, set it up nicely. I personally feel that it is it's, it's made just for life uh, playing amplified and it can't go wrong the notes are all clear it sits above the mix very much if you have a good uh, sound man uh, cedar top with the pink abalone on on the top of thing that is rare uh, even on the rosette beautiful uh, fretboard uh, binding with the koa that is matching lots of flame um, generally this uh, right now if you buy it new is above 10,000 US dollars yes it's expensive but um, you get a piece of not just a piece of art visually uh, but physically this guitar will last a lifetime I've seen guitars that are some made something of this same size but uh, goes through a lot of long-term structural problems and you don't see this with uh, good old guitars because they are made well they are made with tradition in terms of uh, years of uh, tradition the way they work um, Balancing the structural integrity as well as trying to get a, a, a good tone uh, Most people would, would just turn the tops uh, Across the board and have lots of uh, bracing removed, but James what he does is he He keeps the, the tops at a certain about 3, 3 mm But he also the other thing what he does is what I understand is he has a larger than normal bridge plate on this uh, parlor guitars to stabilize the top to prevent the swelling number one number two also is is non scallop but they the over the ages he scallops the only the edge uh, by I think two two uh, inches and also he thin down the parameters of the the tops so it gives you it, it works like a drum if you read, read some of this uh, um, articles where he explained you know if you're looking for good old guitars I'll suggest in Singapore you look for Terry Mario from Guitar Gallery at Park Lane uh, level 2 just up the escalator next to the massage parlor yes massage parlor <laughs> um, a nice guy and uh, lots of guitars but uh, he's a distributor for guitars uh, for good old guitars and if you're in Singapore and um, there are many good uh, guitars available and uh, this is one of the shops that you should go and try to look out for and if you want to watch more great guitar reviews is to subscribe to this channel my name is Jarvis and also post some good comments just below this YouTube video and uh, till my next review I'm gonna say I'm gonna sign up my name is Jarvis love the passion play a guitar allow love joy peace health and wealth to be multiplied in your life I'll see you very soon bye bye